Ultimino Ramos. Era el boxeador. Ultimino Ramos was the greatest boxer. That I have ever known in my life. Jamás en mi vida. My name is Ultimino Ramos. I'm from Matanza. I was born on the 2nd of December, 1941. In the boxing world, they call me Ultimino Sugar Ramos. Other fighters call me the kid, and in my house, I am the baby. De mi casa, yo soy el bebé. Ultimino y Ramos? No, no lo sé, no, lo ignoro totalmente. Creo que es un músico, ¿no? Es un boxeador. No, no, no. Es amigo de mi papá. Fue boxeador y sé que era muy bueno. Soy campeón mundial. ¿De boxeo o buceo? Boxeo, Ah, qué padre, mira tú. Ultiminio. Sí, fue un boxeador. Fue un boxeador. Sí la hizo. Fue un campeón mundial de boxeo cubano que llegó junto con Mantequilla Nápoles a México. Mantequilla Nápoles. Mantequilla Nápoles with Sugar Ultimino Ramos, the two conquered the hearts of the Mexican people. En el corazón de los mexicanos. Que hicieron lo máximo en México. From there, they became famous. When I had my first fight here with Juanito Ramirez, El Pastelero, it caused big trouble in the arena Mexico. I hit him with a right and then headbutted him. Here they are not used to right hooks. They use clumsy punches. There was a huge fuss and they raised the arm of Juanito Ramirez. And then the trouble started. It was like a movie. They burned the top of the arena Mexico. They set it on fire. I thought if they don't love me here, then where will they love me? Era tanto su valor que con tal de conectar no les importaba. Their courage was so great that in order to connect punches, they would withstand heavy beatings as solid as concrete posts in the ring. Y fue un, un gran campeón, un luchador de, la, de fuera de serie. Utimiño fue un gran campeón mundial. También recuerdo la de David Moore, y este, que fue trágica, pero una gran pelea. It was a great fight. I will never forget it. Those punches, that tooth I lost, that shattered into pieces. It really was a great fight. I was telling you that he would always say, Ultimino is coming here to take the championship for Mexico. Ultimino viene aquí a llevarse el campeonato para México. Ultimino. But Ultimino has to kill me to win this championship. Whether it was destiny or whether it was just one of those facts of life, he died after the fight. I won the championship for Mexico. Who killed Davy Moore? Why and what's the reason? This lowered the morale of Ultimino for a while, to a point where he considered retirement. He returned to the ring, but never to his original form. Y ya tampoco el timinio fue el mismo. Viajé mucho. Fui a Caracas, Venezuela, Panamá. I traveled a lot. I went to Caracas, Venezuela, Panama, Salvador, Puerto Rico, and to the other side of the world, Paris, London, Japan, and Ghana in Africa. Ghana, Africa, ya puta. Accra International Airport, and in the dark of night, the arrival from Mexico of the world featherweight champion, Sugar Ramos. Hundreds of enthusiastic fans are there to give the pin-up boy of Cuban boxing a rousing welcome. 
And there he is, the Latin bomber setting foot on Ghanaian soil for the first time, while admirers and friends rush forward to greet the world champ. I was shining shoes on a street corner and an old guy came up to me and he said, kid, kid. I said, what's happening? He said, do you want to earn five pesos? I said, sure, why wouldn't I? So I picked up my box and seat and went home. My mother saw me and asked me, where are you going? I told her about the old guy. I said, he needs a fighter, and why wouldn't I go? I'm me. So we went to Varadero. When I came back, I said to this old guy, is this serious? Is this for real? He said, no, son, this ain't nothing yet. You wait until you get to be champion. Then you'll see. Champion. I stopped and I thought. And I said, for real? And he said, sure. If a sportsman comes and he likes it, and he feels it, and he wants it, then it's real. Because everyone says to me, listen, you're going to die. I'm sure I will, but only after you, so you won't have to cry for me.